This is Kelso Sturgeon. Thank you very much for getting on board for another session of Football Handicapping 101. Needless to say, this is a giant week. It all begins on Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, and just keeps right on running right through February, and I mean just that. Football has just kicked into its highest gear. You know, I had a, a very decent week in football last week. Not so good in basketball, but we'll get that all turned around. Uh, some of the football winners I had uh, had a 25-unit uh, showdown win with the uh, underdog Bears and their outright win over the Dolphins. Won my 50-unit college game of the week as uh, Northern Illinois just buried Ball State. Uh, got the cash with my 25-unit Chairman's Club play at BYU and knocked off New Mexico. And then won my 100-unit NFL blowout game of the year with the Ravens on, on Sunday. La on, on Monday night, cashed a nice side and total parlay 25 units on the uh, San Diego Chargers and the under. But that's just the beginning of it all. You know, I, first of all, I need to make an announcement that uh, I haven't even informed my office about. This Saturday, I'm releasing another 200-unit college football game. In just handicapping this week, I found a game that absolutely will have to win in blowout fashion, no questions asked. The game grades out with a 95% chance to win straight up, a 90% chance to cover the number. I can't pass this opportunity. You know, a lot of people try to play uh, around and they get nervous about releasing big games. It's just not in me. This is a 200-unit college knockout play. I haven't advertised it anywhere. It goes on Saturday, and it wins on Saturday. Don't miss it. Now, two other things are going on that you should be aware of. I put together my annual SOS package. It runs uh, beginning right now, right through the Super Bowl, and it includes this. The rest of the uh, college football regular season, all the college playoff games, all the college bowl games, the rest of the NFL season, the NFL playoffs right through the Super Bowl, and basketball every single day. And this SOS package is available for just $249 charged to your major credit card. If you are uh, interested in a, a lesser deal or you want to get your feet wet first, uh, get on board for my Thanksgiving Day turkey shoot. It's a 10-day run of big, uh, big game winners. It begins this, uh, uh, this Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Highlighted uh, three NFL games and my 50-unit Texas game of the year, Texas A&M at Texas. The turkey shoot, 10 days of big game winning, just $99. You can sign up for any and all of these uh, packages on this website or toll free at 1-800-755-2255 and all major credit cards are accepted. Now, you know, it's been kind of interesting this week as I've watched... Uh, uh, or, or listen to my uh, friends in the bookmaking industry moan and groan about the awful uh, Sunday they had. They said that they just got picked to the bone uh, by uh, by the betters, and I kind of chuckled because they've been picking the betters to the bone for the you know most of the uh, uh, earlier weeks in the season. But the game that killed them was a game that I released as a 100-unit uh, play: the Baltimore Ravens uh, over the Carolina Panthers. And bookmakers said that. That 75% of all the tickets they wrote on the game and 90% of all the money bet on the game was bet on Baltimore and they were screaming that the line was bad. And you know, my answer is, well, if the line was bad, why didn't you change it? Uh, I released the game at 11 and a half and immediately went to 13. And uh, uh, during the, the build up to uh, the kickoff, the game was out as far as 14 and a half at the Five Dimes Offshore Book in the Dominican Republic. I mean, the game just ran. But the number was terrible. That's not my fault. But that's one reason I took advantage and released this game as a 100-unit play. Baltimore graded out easily as a 17 or 18-point winner. And here I'm laying 11 and a half. Some people laid 13, which is what the game closed at. But, you know... Uh, this was the result of a game being played in a situation where there was only one way to go. Uh, and there was nothing tricky about it. You had a very good team that could well get to the Super Bowl playing its best football and being offered at a very modest price, meeting a team that absolutely is wrecked. Uh, uh, everybody's hurt. They're starting a quarterback that before last Saturday had thrown five passes in his entire NFL career, a team that's just absolutely going nowhere. The situation said, 
you know, go for it. And I did. 100 units on the Baltimore Ravens and got that very easy win. And the point I'm making here is this was a situation play. When you find the proper situation on a football game, you've got to step up to the plate and fire. Every game, well not every game, almost every game at this point of the NFL season and the college season is ruled by the element of circumstances. And by that I mean it's ruled by the circumstances uh, that each team brings to each game. In this case, uh, Baltimore simply uh, uh, stood out dramatically over a very, very bad and demoralized uh, team. This also carries over into the colleges, especially this weekend. You know, the situation factor weighs heavy, but it's in, in many college games on, on uh, a Friday and Saturday, but it's, much of it is hidden from the public. I just made a couple of notes. You know, did you know, for instance, that uh, Louisville, five and six, and Rutgers 4 and 6 can still qualify uh, for a bowl game. On the surface it doesn't look like it, but both of them can. You've got to dig for these details. Another one, did you know that California, which is 5 and 6, and Washington, which is 4 and 6, who meet this week, can also become bowl eligible. There's that much room left for them. So when you look at games this week, oh and by the way, if North Carolina State beats Maryland, they win the uh, uh, the uh, right to play in the championship game of the ACC. You've got to dig and find these little details because everything is not as it appears and the circumstances are hidden. When you look at a, at a, at a game like the Louisville uh, Rutgers game where it looks like you know uh, Louisville might have some shot, Rutgers has none, that's not the situation. You need, need to dig deep to handicap thoroughly and find out if any team has extra incentive uh, to win on this weekend. That's all for right now. I'll be right back here uh, on uh, Saturday with another report.